in all of our technological know-how, we have learned how to share our screen. So I'm going to try to do that, and I, am, I, I have my fingers crossed under the table. So share screen, and we will go to PowerPoint. Okay, I'm trying. And there it is. Hey, good job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. So then we're going to start up here and we have to hit slideshow. Uh, there, slideshow and play from start. <laughs> okay. So far, so, so good. I know, I know. So here we are. Cool events, talking about cool sculpting and cool stone. And again, I am Jane Lisko. And this Kelly Hagen. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And we are the Derm Girls. So we are going to get started. These are the recipes, just in case you missed it, for the mocktail and the cocktail. We have the no paloma, which you want to show what that looks like. We mixed in a cocktail shaker. There we are, very lovely. Two ounces of grapefruit juice, an ounce of lime, three quarters of an ounce of agave nectar, and then we shook it and topped it with club soda. And then Jeff, I hope you're out there watching. I have your sidecar. <laughs> Two ounces of cognac, an ounce of Cointreau, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup, and shake it into an alcohol. Okay, well, I feel like that was the most important part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, all right. We are going to move on. So we are going to talk about cool sculpting. I think what Kelly and I will do is just kind of bounce back and forth between the slides. So Kelly can start with telling you why cool sculpting is different. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool sculpting is proven to deliver safe, predictable, natural results. It's FDA cleared. It's non-surgical. Mm -hmm. Little or no downtime. Um, ideal for midsection under the chin, mm -hmm. everyone's favorite area right now. Right. Upper arms and thighs. Yeah, you know, the, on the chin thing, Zoom neck, it's real. I mean, mm -hmm. you see yourself on these Zoom meetings, it's not attractive. Cool sculpting can help. Yes. So we like to say it's everywhere between chin and the knees. Uh, and you can see on the slides, there have been, when the slide, we made this slide a while ago, six million cases treated, it's many more than that now. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Oh, this is a cute story. So I'll tell okay. the story. Okay, so in the literature years ago, there were a couple of case reports of some kids that developed these little dimples, but it was like a dimple in the fat. And they went to the doctor and the dermatologist. Finally, it was determined that it was popsicles. They, and what happened, the cold from the popsicle caused necrosis or death to the fat, and it's um, fat paniculitis or inflammation of fat, cold paniculitis, and it led to that little dimpling. So then somebody super, super smarter than me said, hey, I bet we could make a machine out of this. And that was the beginning of the concept of cool sculpting. So it was born from this insight. So from popsicles to, right. to beauty. <laughs> yeah. Discovered by accident. Right. <laughs> so just kind of reviewing, you know, we we're talking about how the cold kills the fat cells. Uh, what happens in the process of cool sculpting, we all have little stubborn pockets of fat. Not Kelly. Kelly is lovely and perfect. So. Yeah. But most of us have some little bulge, you know, and, and you can exercise and you can diet, but there are just some that don't go away. Some areas, it's just tough. Yeah. So once you've identified these stubborn pockets, come in to see us and we'll fix them. All right. So the, you've got the stubborn pocket of fat. The Cold is administered, and that cold, it passes through the skin down to the fat, and it causes little crystals to freeze, really, inside of the fat. Turns out the fat cells don't like to be frozen. So gradually, over several weeks to months following the treatment, those fat cells die, and then they're just eliminated from the body. And then you can see on the slide, you have a reduction in that fat wall. We're not killing all the fat but we are getting a nice reduction. A good percentage, yes, of, of the fat cells. So this is just a little cartoon to show you before and after. And this is a normal distribution of fat. Everybody has fat, it's healthy, we're supposed to have it. And there are certain areas that you have more than others, but that's intentional. With cool sculpting though, we can trim that down. So those little unwanted bulges, we can make them a little bit 
Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you still have the same distribution. I guess that's the important thing to know is that we, we're not going to alter the distribution of fat and cool sculpting is not a weight loss program. It's more just to shape and contour. All right, so how do we know it works? How do we know it works? So in, in the areas that we treat, there's up to a 25% reduction in the number of fat cells. Um, and that is forever. You don't make any more fat cells. Um, mm -hmm. Amen to that. Yeah, thank <laughs> goodness. <laughs> if you gain weight, you can make your, the fat cells that you do have bigger, or if you lose weight, you can make them smaller, mm -hmm. but you will forever have a lower percentage of fat cells in the area that we treat. Exactly. So that gets back to what Kelly was just saying. How long does it last? Well, the best results, we like to see people back about two to three months mm -hmm. after their first treatment because that's when we really start to see the changes. You can see changes before that. I mean, I feel like we often do, but we like to evaluate you back. We'll touch base about 45 days after the procedure. And then at three months, we like to have you back and get some pictures and just see what kind of progress we've made. But as Kelly made the point before, once the fat cells are gone, they're gone. They are not coming back. And as long as you maintain your healthy lifestyle, maintain your level of exercise, maintain your diet, it, it's not, you're not going to plump out, I guess is what people ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can talk about the consultation. So I love cool sculpting. I recommend it to everybody. Kelly is the expert here. So Kelly and Allison and then Ashley, who's our aesthetic ambassador, they are really the ones that do the consultations and are just brilliant at it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit. I'm gonna let Kelly tell you what she does during a typical consultation. Okay, during a consultation. The first thing I want to know is what bothers you why it bothers you, um, if you have a timeline, we need to, let me, okay, let me say this. It's not a sprint, it doesn't, it happens kind of gradually, mm -hmm. so we're, it's it's kind of a journey. Right, a yeah, journey. that's a good way to say it. Yes, and we're going to um, be together, see each other several times mm -hmm. during this journey, and, uh, when you come in for the consultation, we'll come up with a plan that fits what you needed to fit. Um, so we'll talk first, decide on goals. Then I want to see your back. I want to see what we're working on. You got to get in there. Yes, you got to see. Know. And that's like, you know, when people, sometimes people ask me when they're here for a skin cancer thing, oh, how much does that cost? Or what would it be like? There's just no substitute. You have to come in for the consultation because Kelly yes. needs to get in there. Allison needs to get in there and really prod, feel, poke. Yeah. That's going to give you the best answer and really create the best treatment plan. Right. And we, you know, you just can't get an accurate, accurate information when someone is in their clothes. No. So we're going to get you in disposable garments. Um, I'm going to, going to pinch. I'm going to feel, I'm going to mm -hmm. find out okay, this fat is going this way, so we're gonna, it's, um, we're gonna kind of map out what mm -hmm. I think is the best treatment. Um, and they really, I mean, there's definitely, there's science to this as we yeah. were talking about, but there really is an art to successful cool sculpting to get the results that you want. And that's why you want somebody like Kelly or Allison to do the treatment because they, I mean, they have the hands of artists, literally, as they're getting in there and feeling and prodding and poking and, and really sculpting your body and achieving the result that you desire. Yeah, right? we don't just want to reduce your fat. Mm -hmm. We want to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Exactly. That's very important. Exactly. So then, so that's the day of the consultation. You're going to be prodded, felt, drawn upon, because we get markers. We love our Sharpie markers, yes. lots of different colors that Kelly's gonna draw on you and really map everything out. So then what does it look like when someone comes in for the treatment? Okay, you come in the day of treatment and we'll uh, have you get changed again into disposable garments. We'll quickly um, draw on you the plan that we came up with previously. Um, and then we take pictures. We take really good pictures and we take lots of pictures mm -hmm. because we want to see 
from every angle um, where, what, we, where we're starting. Yeah, where we're starting. Yep. And we also, we will weigh you too because that's important for us to document. And it's fun to see how through this process, the weight probably stays the same. I mean, ideally it should stay the same, mm -hmm. but the changes are so dramatic. Yes. I'm sorry, no, I, no, I interrupted okay. you because okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. All right, you talk more about the treatment. Um, okay, and once we have all that business done, we I will sit you in the chair. Uh, we'll make sure you're comfortable with pillows and you're warm enough with a robe. Um, and we'll attach the applicators to your fat, to mm -hmm. your bulges of fat. Each time we put... <laughs> that's right, we get right into those yeah. bulges. That's okay. right, take that bulges. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, so depending on what we're doing, it's, it could take a couple hours to six, yeah, seven yeah. hours. During that time, um, you can eat, you can sleep, you can work, you can watch Netflix, you mm -hmm. can do whatever you want. Um, so, and it's very comfortable. It is. I, you know, years and years ago, when cool sculpting first came out, because I, I try everything. I'm just that hurt. Um, but it is so much better now. Now I would say to me, it's kind of like when you walk into the ocean and it's super cold, and at first your feet are like, oh, it's so cold, but then it goes numb. Yeah. So the cold. The, there's vacuum suction, right, that draws your skin up into the device, and it's cold. But then it goes numb, and I would say within like two minutes it's yeah. numb. Don't you think? Yes, and each each area that we treat is is anywhere between thirty five and seventy five minutes. So you have a couple minutes where it's like ew, you kind of feel like you have frostbite. Yeah. This doesn't feel good. Then it goes numb. Then you can relax. Then you just chillax, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah. And Kelly will check on you during the treatment. But like she said, you you can binge watch your favorite. There are so many things. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of going through my list. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to compare later. We are. I... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that. <laughs> I could go off. I know. I know. Uh, great. So, and then what happens after we take off the device? We should probably mention that too. Okay. So, um, I've, we've treated an area for 35 minutes, take off the uh, suction, and what we have is, you can see, um, a well-defined area that's red and it's hard. Mm -hmm. So then what I'm going to do is a two minute massage of this tissue to kind of further encourage those fat mm -hmm. cells to die or go away. Right. And it, the massage is so important because studies have been done. Again, we got to get back to the science, mm -hmm. but at least it improves that two minutes of vigorous massage, like 60% more fat dies. Yeah doing that massage. So yeah. it's well worth it. And yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Right. That's right. right. I mean, amen. It doesn't feel great when yeah. I'm massaging that. I'm, but it's, we're gonna, you, you can handle it. Two minutes handle is two minutes. minutes. Yeah. And if, I think a lot of the discomfort is the rewarming. And that's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, when you were a kid and you go out sledding and then you come in and take off your boots and your toes throbbed because mm -hmm. they were getting, yeah. But then that goes away and it's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. And again, it's worth it. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what everyone likes to see. We've got a, just a bunch of pictures. We'll kind of comment and discuss. There may be pictures of my abdomen in here. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, might, I might claim it. Just, <laughs> maybe I need to have another sip of the cocktail right. thought if I'm going to claim it. Okay, so these pictures, uh, you can see, and we'll, Kelly and I will discuss as we go through, but the before and afters, and a lot of them on the bottom right corner, you can see the treatment plan. So in this case, you can see the before, and Kelly, don't you just want to get in there and yeah, I know. just I massage and squish mm -hmm. that tummy? Yes. So this patient had one treatment session performed, and so the pictures in the middle, that's from eight weeks following the very first treatment session, and I mean, great results, I right? think a lot of people would say, hey, that's yeah. pretty good. I think a lot of people would be happy with mm -hmm. that. But then, killer. I mean, look at the, after the second one. It's like a big heat bag. Yeah, right. it is. It is. So from left all the way to right, I mean, that's just awesome. Awesome. Okay, here's, this is another great example. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just, we just want to get in there and. I know. This one, I feel like, Kelly, don't you, wouldn't you like to do a second one in this? Oh, yeah. 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 
because you could really, I feel like you could kind of get in on the those planks a little bit. Improve so, that mm -hmm. curve, but look at the improvement before right to the silhouettes of yeah. this person and the volume lock. Loss right there. It's right, and the and the skin tightness even, which yeah. we're not supposed to say they're skin tightening. Mm -mm. Okay, so here's another great example, and this one, you know, this one here. I think the point of this one is just to show even people that have modest amounts of fat, because you could still get it in there and pinch this, but it's not as it's not as yummy of a tummy yeah. as the other ones. But this one still gets yeah. great results, right? And again, you see the middle one is after the first treatment, and then the far right is the second treatment. So nice. So you go from like beautiful mm -hmm. to more beautiful to mm -hmm. the most beautiful. Right. And this is another, you know, this looks like a kind of a classic mom. mom yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. we're, we're moms. Between yeah. us, we have seven kids. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of kids between all the different girls. Dr. Yeah. Lee has four, Dr. Hansen has two, mm -hmm. Allison has one, you've yeah. got three. Yeah, we got a lot of babies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, after mom days, you get this little bulge there. And you know, really, this one has pretty good skin turner mm -hmm. too, but still just want to get in there and pinch. So two treatments were performed on this one, on this patient as well. And those treatment sessions were probably you usually do what three months between or two? yeah you're, sometimes you can stack them a little foot tighter you can put them if you know for sure that i'm going to do a couple treatments yeah. you can put them you know a little closer together if you know if there's a a date in mind to yeah if you have a goal like your goal you're i don't know a wedding or yeah. something yeah your beach, a beach, beach vacation, vacation. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice that. yeah a little beach vacation all right, here's another tummy. And again, this, this lady looks pretty fit mm -hmm. overall. Um, but what, when you look at that plan, you can see really those little bulges, you know? And it's, you can just kind of see where the, what do you call it? The top the of the bulge. The, 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 peak yeah. of the, bulge. the peak of the bulge. The yeah. peak of the bulge. Peak of the bulge. So great result. One treatment it was wonderful. So I'm just, imagining yeah. like this the area where she has her bulges might fall right in line with her jeans or something yeah and you can see mm. cold sculpting you look you want to look better in clothes you want, yeah right? you do you do exactly you want to feel better in your clothes and you want them to fit better mm -hmm. uh, but you can see yeah eight weeks after how much better her jeans must be right now right that's awesome yeah that is awesome now this now okay just to give the men some equal time this is a gentleman that had his cool sculpting done and you know guys their fat distribution is different it than is. women yeah uh, and that's another reason why you want to go somewhere for your cool sculpting that this is all they do that and they do it really really well I mean we do other things too, obviously we you know skin cancer and skin checks and all that stuff but uh, you you want somebody who is super skilled in cool sculpting. To get the best results and this gentleman i think they really knocked it out of the park mm -hmm. um, oh fun fact when you're looking at pictures before and after pictures it's always good to look at the mold pattern because then you can verify yeah. it's the same patient the same so, yeah anyway that's just so i see a lot of men like mm -hmm. this yeah and we want to restore kind of that can you see me yeah that yeah v -shape. The v. yes and where as time goes goes by your your silhouette is more straight up and down and maybe have a little a little bit of extra to look yeah. yeah yeah but we mm -hmm. really i really try to look at that and and that's what everyone wants is to restore that, that sort that v shape the v shape yeah so v shape for men and for women it's more of the hourglass figure that we want to mm -hmm. achieve right all right well let's look at another fella so this is a side profile this is a nice one too I kind of feel like I'd like to do another one. Mm -hmm. I know. Don't you? He has a little more fat than the other yeah. people, but look at his his flank back here. Yeah, the flank, yeah, how, right right here, the flank yeah. there. Yeah, and look how curved that is and how much, I guess what would you say, tighter or well-defined yeah. it mm -hmm. is. And then when you look at this area here too, 
you really, you start to see the muscles. Oh, you know what would be fun is some cool tone yeah. right here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We're going to talk about cool tone. Hold your horses. Yeah. Yes. Hang on. Okay. But you, you just, that was, I was just going to oh, say yeah. the, the volume about. reduction. Is, yeah. So, yeah, he, we could definitely cool spell him more, but he's had a nice, that is a nice result. Reduction. And he would be very happy with yeah. that. And I think yeah. his pants would fit nicely. Yeah. All right. Here's another fella. And again, you can see men's bodies are just shaped differently. So his issue, he wants to get back that V shape that Kelly is talking about, but he's got those love handles. And now this, he had two treatments done. This is the drawing down here. You can see the pattern that was done. Um, and he had had the full treatment done two times to get these results. But I mean, go, you go ahead and comment because you, you see things that I don't even see. Oh, you know, that. This is nice because if you look at the before picture, you yeah. can see that 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 bulge of fat that's right there. yes yeah. that's sticking up over his jeans and his pants. Yeah. Um, if we go oh, to the after photo, it's much much yeah much less of a, a curve. You can right right. So he could tuck his shirt in yeah. and it would look yeah. nice. Whereas the picture on the left, maybe you don't want to tuck it in. No, not so much. Well, let's look at another. Mm. So this is back fat and raw fat. This is a tough area. And you know, it's one of those things that I think women just kind of buy bigger clothes to cover right. it and stop wearing anything that's snug fitting yeah. or any light material. Right, right. So getting this done just kind of it changes people's outlooks because now all of a sudden they, they feel like they can, like you said, wear, wear a little bit lighter weight mm -hmm. shirt or layer some things and not feel like they've got the bulges there. So this was, and I just think this is a great, great result. This was just one treatment. That's I mean, impressive. That is probably extraordinary to have this much reduction right. of one treatment, right. but really, really well done. Yeah. yeah. And you can see this person is, is not, um, super thin either. Right. So she, she has a nice natural shape, mm -hmm. but she now she's, those bulges are gone. So yeah. yeah. Everything's going to look better. Yeah. Swimsuits, everything. Right. Right. And that's something, so, you know, people will say to us, oh, it, you know, is this just for the perfect bodies? No, it's, I mean, it's for everybody because we all have little flaws, little things that we want to tackle. And as Kelly said, this woman, she's got a little extra love on Honor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to one after COVID. <laughs> COVID-19, an extra love for yeah. us, right? Um, but it, you can get a really nice result at a variety of sizes and a variety of shapes. Yes. And for some people, I'm probably getting ahead of myself here too, but you know, some patients will ask us, well, you know, should I wait until I have lost all my weight to get cool sculpting done or should I do it now? And I guess how do you answer that question? So I, I think of this as a jump start. Yeah. Because if you do cool sculpting and you have some great results, yep. it's going to inspire you and motivate you to change maybe your diet and exercise plan. Yeah. But it's true. There's n nothing like the feeling of. Yeah. Of, of getting yeah, some quick get, results. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then motivating you on. And it is. It is very motivating. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. So again, here's here's another back fat. And so just going back again, this patient, only one treatment. This patient had to have two treatments in three of the areas. And then on the top left, um, was treated three times to get that final little bulge. But well, you're the artist again. Comment. Well, I would just I would just make note that people are not symmetrical. I mean, you don't, you mm -hmm. don't know it until you start looking closely, That's true. but you can see this person is, is not symmetrical. Right. Right. Um, both sides are different. So that's why she, or she, she I think mean, it's a she, <laughs> we're going to give it a she. Okay. We'll, yeah. we'll call it a she. Yeah. Um, needed a third treatment on just one out of four areas. So, but that's something that, that I and Allison are trained to notice, right. um, because it, it's surprising when you point it out to people, they're like, oh yeah, I am. I, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. All right. Well, here's another one on the flanks. All right. So we're moving down, not just the upper part of the back, but we're moving down to the flanks. And this one, 
three treatments across the board. Kelly, since you're so good. Oh, you go ahead. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, I would, you know what? She probably was very bothered by that bulge because it's yeah. that is a well-defined Yeah, bulge. right. And you would see that under yes. clothing. And, you know, and it's the only kind of bulge she has right. back there. So right, because the upper that, back is pretty perfect. Yeah, yeah. we fix that and she's going to be looking good. Yeah. Uh, so eight weeks after the mm -hmm. first session, um, you can, you know, they say 20 to 25% reduction mm -hmm. in the number of fat cells in that area. And that looks about right. Yeah. She probably, yeah. she got a, you know. Yeah, that she, does look about mm -hmm. 20, 25%. I agree. Yep. She did a second treatment and when she, she looks great, but if in no one, I'm trying to say, yes. if she's wearing clothes, <laughs> yeah. she's, no one's going to see any right. kind of, right. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing clothes. Mm -hmm. But she might want to do one more. Yeah. Even. I mean, it, it, again, does she want the bikini body? Maybe so. And if she does, Great. you could do another one. Yep. That'd be good too. Okay. Here's a gentleman with flanks. This is good. Yeah. This is really nice too. You can see what Kelly is saying with the V up here, but then that V ends because <laughs> it mm -hmm. bulges out there. I think, I think that's what you call kind of like when talk, people talk about a spare tire. A spare tire. Yeah. And if you look at the next picture after, mm -hmm. we could do them again. I yeah. mean, we, yeah. we can keep you could, you could sculpt, yeah, you yeah. could sculpt that some more because but, he still has, but his tire is greatly reduced. Yeah, yeah, and it's mm -hmm. almost straight. So again, it's, you can even see how it's bulging a little bit above the length yeah. of short. Yeah, right. He's and not going to have, yeah. he's got it there, but over here, not so much. Yeah. So I bet he looks good in his jeans too. Yeah, I bet he does. I bet he's happy. Mm -hmm. And here's another flank. So this is also fun to see. And this one was one treatment, again, we show these pictures because it's fun to see what you can achieve in one treatment. We really love to, oh, I just touched my microphone. I hope that didn't make too much <laughs> annoying noise. Uh, we love to see, I don't want to say the perfect result, but in our eyes as we're looking, we can imagine what the best outcome would be. So it's, we look at this, we're not trying to be overly critical, but it's fun to look at the pictures and, and explain. I guess would be the best way to say what else could be achieved beyond the greatness that you already mm -hmm. see from these pictures. Is that fair? Yes, I think okay. that is fair. Okay. So this was just one treatment though. So I mean, pretty, pretty great for right. one treatment, but we, we can be picking. Right. Depending on your, what your desired result is, True. we, we True. can, you know, we can say, hey, this is great. I'm satisfied. Yep. I look great in my clothes. I yep. look pretty good. In, I look good in my swim. But if you're like, well, I want to, I want to do it to the max or yeah, be the best I could. can be. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Can keep we could keep going. And then, all right, this is what we were talking about earlier about zoom neck. Zoom neck. It's a problem. It is a problem. And I'm going to just like little asterisk point here. Cool sculpting is a really important part of our uh, management. Uh, Zoom neck, Kybella is another thing mm -hmm. that we use. And we often will use these in conjunction. So I'm just going to take a little side trip if you can meander with me. Kybella is an enzyme that we can inject. It's indicated for the submental fat pad. So that's the fancy term for the, the wattle. Uh, and it is deoxycholic acid, which is a synthetic form of an acid that our bodies make to break down the fat in our diet. I can inject that deoxycholic acid right into the unwanted little fat pad and, and kill it. I'm like a ninja. I go yeah. there and get it. Uh, it causes a fair amount of swelling initially. And the odd thing, and this is more important for men, but the neck will feel numb afterwards. And that's just due to the inflammation that the sensation returns over time. It takes about four to six weeks to get the sensation back. Kybella, I, I like to dose patients. We do it once and then we see them back at six to eight weeks, treat a second time, come back for a third visit at six to eight weeks and probably treat a third time. Other not everyone needs that. When we, our group did the studies for Kybella years ago now, um, we were dosing at once a month 
right? And we had patients coming in once a month for six treatments, got great results, but post-marketing we're finding that was maybe a little more aggressive than necessary. So I mentioned Kybella just for completeness sake, that definitely has its place for treating under the chin. I like cool sculpting more if we have kind of that diffuse. Do you I think, what would gonna, you say? You can yeah. really dial it in with Kybella. Yeah. So if you, you do it, you treat someone one time and they just have a little bit like in this little area, you right. can really dial it in and just inject there. Um, so that's what's nice, I think, yeah. about Kybella. I think they work well together. And I think more and more that's been our practice is to debulk mm -hmm. or take down as much as we can with cool sculpting and then finesse it. That, like especially somewhere like the face. You, yeah. You can really, you really want to be precise in sculpting. Right. Right. right, exactly. So this is another great result. I mean, when you look at the angle here, right? So here's the chin and it's about a 45 degree angle down versus, what's your mm -hmm. math? Now we got a 90 degree, right? So it's almost, it's a little bit greater probably than 90 degrees. Fabulous result. I mean, and again, we know it's the same patient. Look at the mole, see? Yeah. The mole and mole, yeah. So um, this picture makes me smile because it's so yeah. good. But just look at what, this is, this area, if we correct it and we change it, it's something that can, that really affects your whole yeah. Look, look oh. at how much younger yeah. the after photo right. is. Right. Look how much thinner mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. after photo. And you know, sometimes you you are a thin person, but you have a genetic yeah. kind yes. of yeah. Yep. So that's an excellent point. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it it's not not everyone that has this. You know, you, you look at it, you think, oh, you know, maybe chunky all over. No, I mean, a lot of people, it is just this waddle and gosh, you make just, a, it's a dramatic improvement. It, yeah, in your overall, no, not that I would look and say, oh, your chin is smaller. Yeah. No, But no. it would be like, yeah, you look yeah, good. Yeah, you look good if you've yeah. been, you know, maybe yeah. look like you lost a bunch, but it's just this, it's just that waddle. Get that angle. And you feel so much more confident mm -hmm. in pictures, you know, because a lot of people will come in and say, oh, I hate having my picture taken because I hate this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fun and easy thing. Or they see their mother or their grandmother. Yeah, that's and true. And they'll say, they have had this their whole life. It drove them crazy. And I do not. Want, I don't want to look like my want, mother. Yeah. Yeah. I love my mom though. So I'm okay with that. But no, I understand. I love her. Like my mom. I yeah. love her. I haven't seen her in a year, but. <laughs> But she hey, we're vaccinated, so she got, she got vaccinated. She got her, yeah, my mom got her first yeah, one too. Yeah, yes, yeah, so. Hi, mom. Soon. <laughs> All right, here's another, and this, I like to show this front view too, because, I mean, it's very dramatic when you look from the side, but the fun thing to point out with this front one is look at, so treat it on the neck, right? Look at the chin, look at the corners of the mouth from there to here. This chin is so much better defined. We don't have that kind of that downturning of the mouth. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at the screen because I want to make sure I'm pointing this out well. Uh, but the downturning of the mouth is significantly improved just by treating the neck. And mm -hmm. you wouldn't think so, but it seems like by getting the weight off mm -hmm. of that submental area, this area kind of pops back up. And that's what Kelly was saying too. People look younger. And you can, you in this before picture, you can see the hint of a jowl forming. Yeah. And the, you know, we treated this area, but it improved this area. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah. And that's an excellent point too. No one needs a jowl. It's just, nobody has time. Mm -hmm. now. No. no. Here's another side profile under the chin. Great result. Now this, you could say, oh, it's not a 90 degree result like that other picture, but this is still a dramatic improvement. And this person on taking pictures from the front is going to be really, really happy with mm -hmm. this. You could do, I would probably finish this one with Kybella myself. Yeah, you can, because yeah. you can see that. Because there's just a little waddle there. I would just add a little Kybella and I think would be golden. Yeah. Kybella uh, does tighten skin a little bit. It too. does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, off label we're saying that, but it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here's a gentleman again, look at, he, right, so this, I don't even know where to begin. That like went 
That was almost yeah. like, you talked about a second chin. That, right. that is, really is coming out quite a bit. And now it's tied back. Mm -hmm. Now he had two treatments done. I would say, I would probably do a third mm -hmm. with cool sculpting on that one and then tone it up with some kind of And he, did, he didn't, doesn't have the 90 degree angle, but he's much, it's much, of, I bet he's I bet very he's happy, right. He's yeah. much this yeah. improved, the, his look. Yeah, dramatic. Much improved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, even when you look at his lips too, that just, it's up, it looks better. Mm -hmm. All right, here's another chin we love chin. And this, this fellow looks young, yeah. which is, is That's more what you're saying, the genetic part right, of it. Right, right, mm -hmm. sometimes young people have this um, double, or this submental fat pack. Yeah. Speaking technically. Yeah, we'll be technical, because that's, we are yeah. scientists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's a great result. And his lips look better too. Yeah. We, but we know it's him because you can see his moles. Yeah. The moles are the same. Mm -hmm. All right, then arms. So who likes to wave and then have your arm keep waving long after you've stopped? I don't like that. Right. Some people call them bingo arms. Oh, bingo. <laughs> because you, yeah. <laughs> that is yeah no one wants yeah bat, bat wings that's the other name yeah bat yeah. wings and i'm kind of passionate about bat wings yeah because, you know but, kelly wears a big button on her chest so it's the banished bat wings banish no bat wings mm -hmm. yes yeah because no one likes them no and that it's another area that can really um make you look heavier than you are if your shirts are not fitting yeah, properly. Right. Um, sometimes the size of the arms is the limiting factor when, when picking clothing. up clothing. Yeah, right? yeah, is, yeah. I, I have to size up. For their arms. arms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, ain't nobody got time mm, for that. No. No. So um, you can get right in there with the cool sculpt day and, and you just see how this line, how it was bulged down, just much straighter across now. Love it. Yeah. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. So this one too, I mean, could we do more? Yeah, yeah for sure. But really when you look at the before, that is a dramatic improvement. And, and I can tell you, she's probably very happy. It, it just yeah. the way she looks, but the way her clothes are fitting. Yeah, yeah. Um, we and, can do it again, get right. better results. But... Right, and the options for clothes, you know, mm -hmm. right now it's Minnesota winter, everyone's covered up, but you know, it does get warm here or sometimes you go on a beach vacation mm -hmm. and you want to wear short sleeves or a tank top. And if you have the bat wings, you just don't feel as confident doing that. So getting this done, you could see how this person would be much happier yeah. in her summer clothes. Okay, thighs. Thighs. Yeah, so thighs, thighs are kind of tricky because there's not a way you can't just wrap a cool sculpt all the way around. You really have to be particular about identifying the peak and the bulge. Yeah. And not everyone is a candidate. Yeah, right. Yeah. It is tricky. And, and you may look at this with an untrained eye and say, oh, I don't see a difference. But if you look between her thighs, there's yeah. a little. Yeah, if you look right here, there's yes. like you could maybe fit a paper right. in there. Mm -hmm. And here, I feel like you could fit a book. Yeah, and what yeah. happens when your thighs don't touch each other? Your clothes outfit. You, yeah, you, you, again, and you don't get those um, the peeling, yes. you know, on your legs when yes. you walk, and yeah. your shorts don't bunch up. Right, right. So it may be not as dramatic as other areas of the body, but and it, it could be worth it. Yeah, to do that. Yeah, I think it is worth <clears> it. <throat> but again, you have to have a consultation with a trained cool sculptor because. There are examples out there of people having their thighs done inappropriately. And guess what? Once you take away the fat, once we take away the fat, we can't put it back. So if you end up with a weird contour because you had an area treated that shouldn't have been treated, sorry. I mean, that's bad news. So you yeah. want to make sure that you are seeing what you want to make sure you're seeing us because we will do it the right way every yes. time. Yeah. I think we have some more thigh pictures to show here too. This one I think is a little bit more dramatic right. of an improvement, looking at the gap between the inner thigh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A nice reduction there, and, but still a natural reduction. So That's what I was gonna yeah. say, um, is we, no matter what we do, we want 
to look natural. Right. We, and that goes to the training. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been out to the Cool Sculpting headquarters and had training uh, on site. They were with us. Cool Sculpting University, that, but that was years ago, wasn't it? That was yeah. way before. Yeah. But, yeah, our, Allison and Kelly are graduates of Cool Sculpting University. I mean, and they've been doing this for years. So they're going to do it properly. And you'll get a result that you not only are you happy with, you're delighted with. Let's look at some. I think we've got some more thighs. So this is the back picture of the thighs. And sometimes it seems from the back is a little bit right. easier to see the improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, not a bad before. But, mm -hmm. you know, you look, her thighs probably were rubbing when she walked in her pants. And now she has a little space. She has a little space mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe she had to size up in her jeans because of her thighs. Yeah. And now her thighs are slimmer. Right. So. I noticed that, you know, when you size up in your jeans to me, it, then, you know, the waist doesn't fit. Then you have to go right. get them tailored. Yeah. Or yeah. wear a belt. That, yeah. yeah. That you don't like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So just let us fix it. Yeah. Then you get the right size jeans. Yeah. Okay, here's another thigh. This one, I think we're kind of getting like more dramatic as we go along right. here. Mm -hmm. So this person had two treatments. Yeah, but yeah, and that makes a difference. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. A nice result there. And this is thighs from the back. Again, you look at the gap, right? And nice. That was pretty good. Yeah, that is a good reduction. It was just one treatment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here again. So we did outer and inner. I shouldn't mm -hmm. say we, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you can really see. So the outer thigh, um, we we I want to see a definite saddlebag or definite bulge mm -hmm. on that outer thigh. That's what we need to use the cool sculpting applicator on that. Anyway, yeah. But you can and because see. if you don't, then you end up with a divot. Yeah. And that looks bad. Mm -hmm. Not natural. Not natural. Weird. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you have someone that know you choose the right candidate for this area. Right. Not right. everyone, you know, they they say I want this outer thigh done. Yeah. It's not always a good option. Yeah. Yep. So you come see Kelly, come see Allison. They'll tell you what's what. We'll be honest. Yeah. All right. So banana roll. This may be a, fra a phrase you're not familiar with, but the banana roll is a little banana shaped roll of fat right under the buns. Not everyone has one. Some of us only have one and not two. We'll mention any names. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but that, that works really well. I think you can really get in there. And this is a great picture just to show the reduction in that banana roll. So you don't, when she wears her swimsuit, she doesn't have that. The bunk, the bunk, yeah, you know, right, yeah. right. Yeah. We want a smooth silhouette. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. This is just a few others that we're just throwing in there just to show reduction. So you look at the up here, there's kind of more of the bulge going out and just the flattening. But I think the, the coolest thing about this patient is just looking at, again, we talked earlier about the mom flap and a little bit of mom tummy. And just looking at the reduction in the lower part of this patient's abdomen. And that was just one treatment. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. And you can see, we left the dates on there. That was June to August. Yeah. So good. This is an anterior, the frontal view there, which I think is even more dramatic. Right. I mean, you just see how that tightened up because you can, and looking at where the lovely paper garments. Yeah. <laughs> but you can imagine, I mean, that's the jeans fit better. Yeah, the jeans yeah. fit better. The side view looks flatter. Mm -hmm. um, nobody wants this hanging down. Hanging thing. Chad. No, no one wants that. No. But, you know, you can, we made it smaller. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, you're, you're not going to see it in a pair of leggings. It doesn't stick out. It's a bulge reduction. It is a bulge reduction. Mm -hmm. Now, ultimately, some people still need surgery to have that little bit of skin taken away. So this cool sculpting does not replace a tummy tuck if it's all skin, mm -hmm. but it's a, I think it can be a really good means to get you maximized. Cause right. if you want to do a tummy tuck, maybe you want to get everything shaped properly before you go for the tummy right. tuck too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is another one of our patients. Again, this was just, this was one treatment three, I think we did our pictures. Yeah. Three months apart. So just one treatment, you can see there's that little mom bulge. Right, it's gone. Gone. Mm -hmm. 
you know, her belly isn't perfect, but that hang you down thing is gone. Yeah. That's. Yeah. And she was happy with that. I think we wanted her to come back for more, but she said, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. And this one, true story, forgot to take the picture before. So it's red because we did the before picture right after we took the cool sculpting device off. But uh, one treatment. I mean, that mic drop. Right. Yeah. That yeah. was, and not to say that she wouldn't appreciate having more done. But this made a dramatic improvement. It did. And just the volume reduction there. Mm -hmm. So now she has that kind of I think volume. I have a slide picture. Too. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry. Uh, volume reduced. Now we can really sculpt it. Yeah, right. 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 And that's why, you know, like as Kelly was saying, it's a journey. You know, mm -hmm. make the best treatment plan for each individual. But first, often we do need to do some reduction and then finish with some sculpting. Here's another mom tummy. Okay. I'll admit it. It's my tummy. Oh, you should admit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my tummy. I've had four kids. It's my tummy. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Done, okay. But that, I think that's pretty good. And I'll say, you know what? I had it done. And that really did compel me more right. with my exercise. Because, yes, yeah. yes. Yep. You, Yes. I got, my, I got my Peloton. Yes, yeah. I'm on my Peloton. I'm, and this this is what's jump-started it for me. And there I am from the front. We don't need to dwell on my pictures. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Yes. Hey, that, that's all right. I put it up there. I fessed up. Okay, so this is another one um, back. And look at that skin smoothing. Should be wearing more sunscreen. Right. He's a little dark. A little too tan for my. But yeah. two treatments, great result. Yeah, really. That really does show the tightening. Yeah, or, right. We're Which not saying the cool sculpting tightens, but it did. But it did. Mm -hmm. And this one flanks again. This gets back to what you're talking about with the V. Yes. And really trying to get that reduction. Um, and this one had he had a bigger fat bulge on this side, so mm -hmm. he wasn't really bothered. I mean, I'd be bothered. I would have treated both sides if, if I was that man. But, right. um, but the point of this slide is just showing that it, the asymmetry that you were yeah, talking sometimes, about. Sometimes, yep. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to. And the other thing that's interesting, this is six years later, he's maintained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And you can tell it, it's kind of a, he looks like a slender person. Yeah. But he just had a stubborn bulge. Yep. Yeah. Until cool sculpting. Mm -hmm. oh, so there's Kelly, and that's our cool sculpting device, or one of our many cool sculpting devices. And as we were saying before, all of our treatments are supervised by board certified dermatologists, yeah. either me or Dr. Lee or Dr. Hansen. And our two cool sculpting specialists are the lovely Kelly and then Allison, who is at our Maple Grove office. And both of them are graduates of Cool Sculpting University. And of course, our practice is a cool sculpting certified practice. So now we're going to talk about cool tone. And then I know there are questions and we've been chatting a lot. So, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's probably, well, yeah. It's probably, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is what happens when you sit down with a girlfriend. So say hello to cool tone. So cool tone is a, our, our newest baby. And this device is really designed, I guess I'd say there are two different populations. There are the folks that we've cool sculpted, we've got the ideal shape, but now we just want to tone the muscle. And then there's another group of folks that just didn't really need the cool sculpting, but, and they're you know, avid exercisers and things, but they want to take their exercise to the next level. And cool tone can do that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to move on with this and just show, Kelly can tell you which sites we cool okay. tone. So we can cool tone abs, mm -hmm. thighs, and cool legs. Yep. And I, you know, I have done all three because why wouldn't I? Yeah. Have. And you really do notice a difference. Just when I did my mm -hmm. abdomen, I was not expecting to have visible results because I, I do have a layer of fat on my abdomen, yeah. right? So um, yeah, we. Uh, you don't. Anyway, I was not. It's, I was not expecting to see visible results, but daggone it, it did. It sucked my. It sucked <laughs> my. It did. It did. <laughs> there are those muscles. <laughs> so how does cool tone work? It is electromagnetic stimulation. It looks kind of. It's vaguely in the shape of a 
ping pong paddle, I guess yeah. you'd say. Mm -hmm. um, and the device is placed on the skin and there's electromagnetic stimulation and that the, that stimulates, so it goes through the skin and through the fat, maybe it gives a little death to fat, I don't know about that, but um, mm -hmm. it goes down to the muscle and it stimulates those muscles to contract. And it, it, they're very powerful mm -hmm. contractions that are created. We dose this, we usually what we like to do is have patients come in six, six times over two weeks to get that first, I guess, definition. Uh, yes. And yeah. Then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see dramatic changes. And, and then, of course, you want to maintain because it's just like going to the gym. Like if you go to the gym and you work out and you're really, really fit and you stop, up, guess what? Yeah. yeah. It, it, the muscle goes away. It goes away. Mm -hmm. So there is a maintenance to this too. And I would say most people come in for maintenance once a month, maybe twice a month mm -hmm. if they're really but they, into it. If they're super motivated and want to um, kind of maintain on their own, mm -hmm. you can do 30,000 sit-ups. You could, yeah. Yeah, 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 you could do 30,000. Yeah, that, you know, because everyone has time. Right. Well, now I guess during COVID, we probably do have time right. to do 30,000. I wonder how long it would take. I don't want to, I don't want to find I, I, out. No, I'm not. I know. I'm not going to find out. I'll go lay down for some cool tone. <laughs> That's right. So, Kel, can you tell them what you do for the cool tone? Okay. So, you come in and we, I will attach the applicators to whatever area we're treating. Let's just say it's the belly. Um, I strap it on really tight with uh, a Velcro neoprene mm -hmm. strap. Um, the treatment is 30 minutes and we can go from 0% to 100%. Uh, usually, we need to warm up a little. If you do warm up, yeah, it's a little more uncomfortable. Yeah, warm up just like when you're at the gym. Yeah, you need a little warm up for your muscles. Yes. So a couple minutes at a lower um, percentage of power, mm -hmm. um, and it is it's contracting and it's knocking. So it's treating two different types of muscle cell, um, fast and slow. Mm -hmm. uh, but so you you it kind of does that in a pattern. Um, and for each, for, yeah, and there's a specific pattern, yeah, right? Yeah. So the abdomen has a, one pattern. Mm -hmm. The glutes have a different pattern. The thighs have a different pattern. And the timing is different. Yes. Um, I think 30 minutes. Thighs are 20 yeah, minutes. Thighs thighs are the 20 20 minutes. Yeah, thighs are the different one. They're mm -hmm. 20, but 30 for the other two. Yes. And I think, I think it's, it's comfortable. I think it feels good. Yeah, I, I think it's comfortable too. Um, I, you know, I'll say on the ab one, the first, probably the first time you have it, it, it's surprising how strongly the muscles contract. It's not painful, but it sure is weird it's, feeling. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's intense. intense. Yeah, and sometimes you know you can't breathe because it's can or you, you can breathe, but it's yeah, it's just can be really intense. I don't think it's painful. Some people. Um, it's more like uncomfortable, but anyway, yeah. let's not talk. And then, <laughs> where are we going? Wait, 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 wait <laughs> no, but, but there's a variety, there are a variety of experiences with this. Yes. And that's why you, again, you wanna have somebody who is trained and talented like Allison or Kelly to do this because they act, it's, they're, they're like your trainer, you yeah. know? And they, they talk you through it, they coach you through it, mm -hmm. uh, and, and they know when to turn up the energy and when you can tolerate it. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some results. Okay. So the fun thing with these pictures is you're going to look at these and think, well, hush, they're already great. Mm -hmm. But you can be greater, right? right. You, you can get stronger muscles mm -hmm. and you want to take up space in this world. You want to be strong. And uh, I, this is just a really nice result. Looked good beforehand, but doggone it, those are great muscles afterwards. Yeah, yeah, it, that does look great. And also when your core is stronger, you have better posture. Yeah. Oh, I, I know as I'm slouching, right. I fix my posture. You know, you, maybe your, your back feels a little bit better, yeah. but when your your core is stronger, your balance is better, mm -hmm. and and it that just helps everything. Everything. Yeah. It all comes back to the core. Every mm -hmm. you know, any physical therapist you talk to, they always want you to work on your core. So here, come to Cool Tone. Yeah. We'll work on your core for you. Half hour, thirty thousand seven. That's it. <laughs> this is another one. Again, this, this gentleman was fit, but he looks better. He's got, he's got, a, lot of oh, he's got yeah. a lot of muscles. Mm -hmm. I think an eight pack there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is. And then uh, this oh, lady yeah. too. I mean, what? She looked great before, but look at those muscles. And you'll notice, so 
this is 10 days after yeah. her fourth treatment. Yeah. This is not, she had, this isn't months or years. No, right, right. And that, and that is so exciting because yeah. there are very few things that you get instant gratification. Yeah. This you do. And again, this was immediately after the fourth treatment. Yeah. I mean, that's less than two weeks of, of workouts and to get, you can't go to the gym for two weeks and look like this. That's just not going to happen. So again, come get cold tone. You'll be happy. This is looking at the glutes, which you know what? You want, you want your jeans to look good, right? Right. right. But the other thing I'm going to say as, um, as a quasi runner, I have my Peloton tread and I, I had trouble with my IT band. So I went to the orthopod and I felt like an old lady and I was complaining about my IT band. And she told me that my glutes were weak. And I was like, what are you kidding? Cause I ride my bike. And I, but um, she was right. And when I started doing pool tone for my glutes, all my IT band stuff went away. So awesome. yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'd like to think it looks better too, but I'm so glad that my IT bands are not hurting. So if you look at this picture, I mm -hmm. just want to point out the angle of yeah. the junction between right. her thigh and her butt. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's what you want to see. And that, yeah. That's yeah. Just got that nice having, lift. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. De yeah. And here's a posterior view of a different patient. Again, you just see that lift. There's a little shadow here, but, um, that was kind of a, I don't want to say a pancake flat, but it was right. kind of a flat pot. It is flat, um, and you can see mm -hmm. a little bit of the lift. Yeah, and yeah. And that's so we're, we're going get kind of like an oblong yeah. butt cheek to more of a... More of a rounded. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So that was our little tickler of cool tone pictures. So... Um, you know, our call to action, Ashley is standing by. I feel like we're on a telephone right I now, know. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but 763-502-2916 is Ashley's number to reach her to schedule for your consultation. I think everybody who is watching this, if you want to come in for a consult, just learn. I mean, it, it never hurts to learn more about what's available. Right. And there's no pressure. No. No. There's no pressure. No. I'm not going to pressure you. No, but it's just fun. So, um, there. Any questions? So if you haven't already, you can type your questions into the Q&A prompt on the webinar screen. And again, I'm going to, I think, get the number. I'm going to just put up the number one more time. So it's 763-502-2916 for Ashley, and she will schedule it. It's a free consultation. Yeah. Cool sculpting, cool tone. Kelly can, Allison can talk about other things too, but uh, and then we do have special event pricing. It's about 30% off, which is insane. But that's how much we love you. Right. It, it never goes on sale like that. No, no. I mean, that, but this is, this is our first time doing a webinar. Yeah. And we're so happy. We're just, we're yes. loving it. Yeah. So, all right. I am going to go to the q and I'm going to, I guess I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And all right. So. We have a question. Generally speaking, how many treatments do people end up having? You know, I, it depends on what your desire is, what your expectation is. Um, you know, like we talked about in some of those pictures of three, you know, you may be satisfied or happy mm -hmm. after one treatment. Um, you may say, like, no, let's go for the gold. Let's, yeah. you know, do as much as we can. Um, I would say that not often are people done in one treatment, right. would you say? Right. Um, so usually, you know, we like to do two. Um, and then, you know, depending, depending on the results, people respond differently. Some people are what we call great responders. I don't know why. And um, <laughs> so, some people are just lucky. Yeah, just yeah. lucky, I guess. So. We, I would, it's, Kelly, let me tell you, it is really hard to say and guess without seeing you and have doing mm -hmm. a complete consultation. Yeah. So just come um, on in. Well, yes. Kelly will squeeze yeah. massage or Allison will too. 
So we have another question. Do most people have to do cool tone monthly after the initial burst, or have you seen people maintain with less frequent treatment? You know, again, I think it gets back to what we were saying with the gym. Right. How right. much do you want to do on your own? Yeah. So if you if you want to do it, well, you don't have to do 30,000 crunches, but I, I think you, you can jumpstart things with cool tone. You can maintain to a certain degree with your, your workout, but really cool tone is designed to take you and keep you at the next level. Mm -hmm. So I, I think you'd be happier long-term if you did come in regularly. And, you know, maybe it's not nothing. Maybe for some people it's every two months mm -hmm. to maintain, but I feel like the optimal result is once a month. So uh, we had another patient asked, what happens, I shouldn't say patient, viewer, another <laughs> viewer, uh, what happens to the fat cells after they are frozen? Okay, so fat cells are frozen, the mm -hmm. membrane of the cell pops, mm -hmm. the contents of the cell, I don't know where to look now. No, no, I'll look at right that. Okay, the contents of the cell, the fat cell, is emptied into your body. Mm -hmm sucked up through your lymph system and eliminated over the weeks, 12, 12, yeah, weeks to months. Yep. So, um, yeah, that's what happens. All right, we had another, do you still do rigorous massage on the neck? That's a good question. That would be a little tough. So after cool sculpting, what do you do for massaging on the neck? It's not... Rigorous massage. Yeah. It, it, okay. She does. Yeah. She does. So that's a good question. She's not going to strangle you. Yeah. It, you know, it's never a good feeling for anybody to have um, kind of pressure on your neck, and that's mm -hmm. for a good reason, right? Right. It's right. our self defense, so yeah. we can breathe self preservation. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 But we hook up the machine or the cold subject machines and make sure you can breathe mm -hmm. and make sure you can uh, swallow. Mm -hmm. you, I know you can, but this is to prove to you you can. Right. Um, right. We take it off. We, do the massage, um, again, the skin is numb, so it, it's kind of disorienting and kind of an odd feeling, but yeah, we, we have, because of the percentage of fat cells is, is so much greater, it's worth it. It it's doesn't feel it. good, but it's two minutes. Yeah, and you can do anything for two minutes. You can swear at me, yell, yeah. and you can do whatever yeah, you want. that's fine, that's okay. fine. You do what you need to do. So is there downtime after cool sculpting? Uh, no, no. Um, you, you may feel tender, but yeah. more like tender if, like you put your hand on your hip and you're like, oh yeah, I did something to my flex, right. you know. Yeah. But there really is is no downtime. There's no limitation at There's least. No I mean, it, you right. can live on with your life, do you, you do normal things. You you could have some bruising. Um, mm -hmm. Kelly said there, there can be some redness. Sometimes it is sore, kind of like a bruise. Like Kelly said, when you push on it, it can be sore like a bruise for even a few weeks after the treatment. Uh, sometimes as the fat is breaking down, you might feel some weird kind of lumps and bumps, but that mm -hmm. just continues to go away. But nothing prevents you from resuming normal activities. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so why are you not sore after cool tone? Okay, I'll tell you as much as I know about yeah. this. Okay. okay. So cool tone, you're not using your own power to make the muscle contract. So you don't build up the, the lactic acid. acid, and that's what makes you sore, right? right. After you work out, mm -hmm. you have lactic acid, so you're sore. You don't make lactic acid because you're not. Well, you, and there, there is lactic acid, oh. but um, Kelly mentioned the, the tapping. So the muscle contracts, and then there's this ta 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 and that tapping is helping to to get rid of the lactic acid. Oh, so, uh, no, you, it's oh, not that you were wrong. I, okay. I just think that that's another reason too. Okay. So there's a difference between going to the gym and contracting yourself and having the machine stimulate it, but also you don't have at the gym you don't have somebody that's helping to get rid of the lactic acid with the tapping, but the cool tone device does that. So when can I expect to see results after my cool sculpting treatment? So, you know, three to four weeks, I lay, I say a little bit early mm -hmm. because I, I think you see, that's, um, I think you start to see I a change, especially if you're hyper aware and, and kind of checking for results, yeah, yeah. you know, um, but really it's more 
four to six weeks, you start to see a change is, mm -hmm. is what the literature says, but sometimes a little bit later. Yeah. And picture wise, I think really two to three months. Oh yeah. But, mm -hmm. but I, I agree. You feel it in your pants and everything. Mm -hmm. So well, let's see. I think we have hit all of our questions. Okay. So, this was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Because, yeah. You know, we did. <laughs> yeah. So with that, we will say cheers to all of our friends watching. And remember to call Ashley at 763-502-2916. Thank you so much, you guys. Take care. Thanks for we'll watching. see you for consult. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.